I'm Mike Dimas, and this is Pinball Shenanigans. Alright, episode 2, Galaxy. Let's see what fun I can get myself into. I've got the hood raised, and I must have positioned the machine exactly where Nugent was and Magic, because when I lifted the hood, it fit perfectly into my little strap there to hold up the play field. And I did that so that I could change the bad leg tee. So that has been replaced with a nice new one. Bolts are in there good. I uh, did the easy stuff first. And now uh, I think it's time to replace the rectifier board. So I'm going to have to pull out the transformer, pull out the board, disconnect everything. This bracket um, might be able to stay. I just pop off the um, standoffs here. This GI relay. So I did post this on Pinball Repair Group. And as suspected, I thought I had something to do with lighting, general illumination. It kind of like flashes the general illumination during attract mode. And apparently also when you spell galaxy. So thanks to those who replied to my question about that, including Corey Cook of London Pinball. And I guess Galaxy is the first machine to have implemented this little general illumination relay lighting effect coolness. So there's that. So I am going to, um, well, I found this in my pile. I'm not exactly sure where I got it. If it was uh, in one of my board lots or I just bought it specifically. I remember buying two or three power supplies at one point. Where is this from? This is Weebly. Okay. Weebly.com. But I don't remember ever using one with a heat sink like this. So I feel like this came in a board lot that I bought. Or uh, actually, once upon a time, I bought. Uh, you know what? It was with the Galaxy. When I bought that 11 machine lot with Galaxy, there was some extra parts and um, boards and miscellaneous everything. And I think that's where this actually came from. Maybe it was ultimately destined for Galaxy. I've got my backup spare Alltech solenoid driver board and my backup Alltech CPU. So that's gonna be further down the line. Uh, so I think this is what I'm gonna get into today. And uh, I've only done a couple, but should be smooth sailing, knock on Nugent. And uh, I guess it's time to disassemble the transformer i put the head up here already so maybe i'll just take that down put the transformer up there or you know if i really wanted to i could just work on these connectors but uh now let's go with the transformer first okay here goes nothing Okay, uh, part way through getting this thing removed and I'm starting to wonder if I should like check the transformer first before I uh, change the rectifier board because that is a bit of work to do that. And if I do that and find out the transformer is bad, then I would be very sad. So I am thinking I might want to um, turn the machine on and test some voltages. So... Is this the power going in? This I do not know for sure, but for starters, we can clip this wire off. We don't need that. Okay. We also don't need the knocker. Wait, is that knocker? What is that? Oh, that, it looks like it's actually for the relay. Okay, knocker is here. We don't need that. So, 
let's for fun just turn this on and um, see what blows. One moment. Okay, I've got it plugged in and upon closer inspection, I think that that cord is original, so seems perfectly fine. Um, I'm going to power this thing on and let's uh, watch the fuses and see if anything happens. There may be zero that happens. Three, two, one. Okay, we've got life. Our uh, general illumination lighting, which comes directly off the transformer. So now we know that the machine is powered on. So uh, I'm going to check the voltages on the power supply. If they're all good, then we can assume that the transformer is good, right? So I will be back. All right, here we go. Let's uh, check some voltages. Put the ground over here. And we are on DC voltage. This is test point one right here. That is seven volts. I believe that is okay. So that must be our general illumination. Test point two. That must be our displays, 181 volts. Can you see that okay? The wire in the way. And test point three. That's uh, like our supposed to be 11.9, but that's pretty damn close, not under load. Test point four is AC, so we'll skip that. We'll go to test point five. And that should be our solenoid voltage, 53. That is good. And then let's go to AC and check this. And that seems correct too. So I think our voltages are good, our transformer is good, and even though that power supply is worse for wear with an exploded resistor, uh, I think it would just be good practice to change it. And uh, it is like over 40 years old, so I don't always, and yeah, I've only changed a couple, so you don't always need it, but I think in this case, uh, we will change out the power supply. So I will continue on All right, we have success. Okay, so this, someone went through a lot of trouble to, you know, add this connector and make this thing work. Um, and, you know, I imagine they got it going, but uh, it obviously didn't have a new power supply at the time or didn't want to spring for one. But, uh, yeah, I think she's overdue. Doesn't really look too horrible, actually. Other than the resistor. In, in theory, I could rebuild this, put on new male headers, um, new resistors, new fuse clips, but uh, not gonna do that. We're gonna do the whole shebang. All right, so time to clear off the bench. All right, so far so good. I just bared my head down, got right into it, started snipping and clipping and soldering, and I've got three wires done. So I just like, we'll clip a red wire like that. That'll be my next one. I'll go look, it's, it's labeled E something. I'm not sure actually what, I'll have to move that resistor, clip it right off. Yeah, why not? This board is no longer needed, so. E1, okay, so that means Red goes to E1, which is right there, and yeah, just one wire at a time, maybe 12 wires or something like that, and, uh, and so far so smooth. All right, there it is, the old power supply. No more. Some burnt pins, but yeah, that is basically trash, and... Here is the finished product.
Oh, you know what? Actually, I gotta turn my um, soldering uh, soldering thing back on because I did solder all the back side, but I want to do the front side as well. Add a little dab on both sides to make sure the connection is stellar. Let's see what it looks like on this side. Looks pretty good. So maybe E1 needs a little love. But I'll check all them just to make sure. I don't want to have to take this apart again if a wire pops off. But I tugged on all of them pretty good and I think they're all on there good. So that didn't actually take that long and it was pretty straightforward. I didn't have any extra holes or extra wires or any confusion. So that was a bonus. So um, I will solder the top side and then uh, see if I have any time to do anything else. All right, I removed the plate and I'm gonna just clean this up a little bit, put on the new standoffs. We don't need this piece anymore. And uh, I'll just try not to damage that decal and uh, clean this guy up. All right, that's a little bit better. New standoffs, so good to go. All right, there we go. New board is installed. It's looking good. I've got it connected. And we're gonna turn it on and hope and pray and pray that nothing blows up. I did manage to lose one screw right there. I can't locate it. And I um, replaced it with a, a different one, but I don't like when I lose screws and I don't find them because I was like, Mm, I just don't want it to be shorting anything. So, anyway, here goes nothing. Three, two, one. Please be good. Please be good. Uh-oh. Ah, I didn't plug it in, so uh, I'll be back. Okay. Always unplug your pinball machine when working on power supplies and transformers. Three, two, one. Oh, don't blow any fuses, please. Okay, you hear a little hum of a transformer. We've got our general illumination lighting. And, um, where are the test points on this guy? I want to test the fuse, the uh, voltages. Where are they? Okay, I can see them. Um, vaguely. Let's, uh, eh, might as well just do this live I haven't tested a Weebly power supply before I don't think but I see one test point here I gotta be very careful okay let's check the uh, meter here to not electrocute yourself okay that I believe is correct test point oh it says right there it's supposed to be 6.3 said right on the board that's nice. This test point four also says 6.30 AC. Test point two, this is a big one. 230 volts. Got to be very careful. Okay, that's good. Uh, where are the other ones? I see one way down here. This is awkward. 14 volts. What is it supposed to be? 12. Okay, that's good. And there's one way in here. What is that supposed to be? Solenoid voltage? Yep, we're good there. Okay, the last one, AC voltage, uh, should be 6.3 volts right there. All right, boys and girls, I think we uh, successfully pulled this off without screwing anything up i'm used to taking steps backwards and things not going smoothly so this is a luxury for me wow i'm very happy with how this went so that's going to be it for this episode um didn't even take me all that long to do so uh, i am thoroughly happy um, next episode we'll probably start working on the connectors in the head and or yeah connectors in the head that'll be next so all right, well, that was a success. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.